I'm Dr. Joaquin. I'm responsible for daily... Our database was breached, and we lost some very important data. Merrill's simulacrum data has been unable to sync. We've traced the source of the hack, and have determined that it was the air... Our data units are equipped with protection programs, but the heirs of Ida are fully capable of cracking them. We hope you... According to the information we've gleaned so far, the stolen data unit is currently in the Wolan Snowfield. As such, Mr. Shudi will go with you the new smart servant of Hykrum. I have uploaded the information on the stolen data to Shudi. He will guide... Doctor, please rest assured that I will complete the... Executor, are you ready? Good. Let's go now. Arrived at Central Wolan Snowfield. Mission information has been synchronized, and you can start at any time. Increase speed. We're in enemy territory now. Enemy activity, 200 meters ahead. Eliminate the enemy while I explore the area. Congratulations, Executor. You have successfully cleared all of the enemies. Ahem. <clears throat> Don't look at me like that. It's very impolite. My daily task, data processing, information recording, data collection, sample analysis, Vector construct. Obviously, the fight option is not among my available tasks. So protecting myself when I encounter danger and protecting the doctor's data is my prime directive. Merrill's data should be around here. In order to find the specific location, enemy mechanical energy detected must be eliminated immediately. Matching energy resonance data. Match found. Merrill's consciousness 7.
it's snowing. You're finally awake, Executor. Upon recovering the data, the energy resonance rate was too high and generated a link between you and Meryl's Consciousness 7 data. You seem to be strongly affected. Now that you're all right, let's continue with our mission. The doctor explained that there were three... We only recovered Volume 7, where the detector reacted just now. It appears that the data has been scattered. Data shows that Meryl has a twin brother named Victor. He went missing in one of the wars, and Meryl has been searching for him. Warning, severe detector reaction. This is an emergency. Please follow me. Energy detector indicates something at 10 o'clock. Area ahead scan. An enemy, the enemy's minefield is very dangerous. Please avoid the guards the best you can, Executor. wave of enemies is coming. Prepare for battle. Incoming scan. Unknown. Warning. will tear you apart. in. No sign of Victor. We have expanded the search area.
will find him. You saw Meryl's past again. Her data energy resonance rate is quite abnormal. Let's continue the recovery mission first. We have just locked onto the position of Meryl's consciousness. The radiation index of the area where the data is located exceeds the standard recommended limit. In a
Unstable signal. Data recovery interrupted. Unstable signal. Please take a break. Retrieval has been interrupted. It appears reconnecting to Merrill's consciousness one. Reading data. Matching si I don't know if you will resonate this time. Warning. Abnormal resonance rate. You haven't changed one bit. We haven't seen each other in a long time. Can't you at least smile? How did we end up in the same group anyway? Was that because of you, Meryl? Are you actually worried about me? <laughs> it's snowing. Oh, 
and I'm older. Maybe I came out first. I'm pretty sure I'm older. All of Meryl's data has been collected. Please return to the doctor. Welcome back. Meryl's data recovery was successful. Thank you. Dr. Shudi will now analyze Meryl's data and compile a detailed report afterwards. It mentioned in Shudi's report that you experienced an energy resonance with Meryl's data and established a certain degree of connection to her memory. That feeling... it was so strange. This phenomenon has happened before, but this is the first time I've seen it trigger multiple times in such a short time span. Well... Victor is missing while Merrill continues to work in Highcross. I also searched the Executor Order's archives for relevant records, but... There are... In fact, although Merrill is also an Executor of Highcross, she's really not someone who you could call a gifted communicator or... On this point, please allow Shooty to provide a supplementary explanation. According to Highcross records, after Victor disappeared in the Wollen Snowfield, Meryl went to the snowfield. Yes, and so, Hykros came to several conclusions. First, Victor may have died, and his body was dragged away by mutated creatures. Second, Victor may still be alive, but he cannot contact Hykros due to some... And the third possibility, the most worrying of them all, is that Victor may have been taken away. Of course, all these are just speculations. We... <sighs> Returning to the subject at hand. I still have concerns whether the memory resonance between you and Meryl will somehow affect your body. Ah, not to worry. It won't harm you in any way. If you still have doubts, you're more than welcome. The abnormal fluctuations. It's fine. The abnormal.
I think I've been here before. Attention, Executor of District 9. Please report to Regional Officer Gerard immediately. Attention, Executor of District 9. Please report to Regional Officer Gerard immediately. I really can't think of anything else that could be of help. I didn't notice anything abnormal when I tried it here yesterday. Have you checked the usage reports in your personal database? Is it possible that the data may have been altered in some way? No, I've checked it three times already. The problem didn't start with me, I'm sure of it. What are you guys... Mr. Rick was testing out a new simulacrum technique, but something went wrong and... He ended up like this. Did you find the cause? We're still investigating. I've already reported- I just hope it's not too big of a problem. Gather your fighting spirit! You would pick me. Just warming up. I take it you've seen the mess down there?
We found the root of the problem. Someone used aberrant data to repackage the simulacrum unit labeled Prototype T04 in the data. After looking into the access history for the simulacrum database, I cross-referenced all... The T04 unit is rarely accessed, and the last time was... Her name is Samir. She is a Hycros executor. Despite her young age and relatively short career length, her abilities have proven to be outstanding, and she shows no small amount of promise. Unfortunately, despite her exceptional capabilities, her personality... How bad is it? As a young and eccentric prodigy, she is abnormally fond of causing all kinds of trouble, as well as pulling pranks that only she herself finds amusing. As a result, very few people are willing to deal with her, much less work with her. We lost contact with her about a month ago, and she has yet to report her whereabouts or actions to her superiors. The reason I asked you to come here today was to help me with this dilemma so where should i begin according to our current records she tends to settle in a certain i'll send you the data of the safe house as long as you get her to return the original data for prototype t04 we won't hold her accountable for the problems her tampering has caused Just hope this mess will be over soon.
Ding dong! Welcome to my cozy little home. Unfortunately, due to all the work I'm busy with, I don't have time to see any visitors right now. For future visits, please make an appointment in advance. See you some other day. Ahem. So, uh, press one for weather inquiries, two for task assignment, three for scheduling your revenge, and four if you want to treat me to lunch. Bye. Today's weather is perfectly clear, with sunny skies and high visibility. Ugh, how boring. Ahem. So, uh, press one for weather inquiries, two for task assignment, three for scheduling your revenge, and four if you want to treat me to lunch. Bye. Your revenge request has been received, and you are the 91st person in the queue. Please wait patiently for your turn. Your estimated wait time is... Just leave the package at the door. Uh, packet? Huh? Aren't you a Banjis delivery person? No, I... I work for... Huh? Who crows? Oh, I almost forgot about that. So what? Dr. Joaquin would like you to return the original data for... Oh, so I'm supposed to hand it over just like that? What if I refuse? D Dr. Joaquin says that if you... He can what? No what? I don't care, so bye bye for... If I may ask... You came to see her too? And you are? My name is Huma. I'm an executor. Dr. Joaquin asked me to find Samir and ask her to give back the original simulacrum data she had tampered with. I know. After all, I saw your exchange with her just now. If you don't mind, let me try asking her. I can't believe someone was... Wow, how did you do that? N not really, no. Your name? What's your name? Uh, m my name is Huma. D did something go... Your name? Say... My name is Flora. F flora Come on, let's go... She comes here fairly often, so maybe we can find... Who knows? If you manage to find the data on prototype...
Tick tock, tick tock. It feels like time is slowing down. Just a warning. Uh, next time, you won't be so lucky. Are you okay, Huma? Uh, I'm fine. This brat. <sighs> I found this note in the ribbons. It has the address of Banjus Inn written on it. Behind? The address was written very clearly. Maybe she wants to meet me there. I hear she's kind of eccentric. Lunatic is more like it. Dealing with someone like her is almost impossible. Anyway, now that the danger has passed, I think we should get out of here right away. I'm sure there are still plenty of other traps in this room. We stand a better chance if we work together. So I'll... Then I believe this belongs to you. I've only been in business for about a year, but I haven't met anyone else around here named Flora. Is something wrong? Oh, you're here. I was just asking the owner about Samir. Like I said, nobody by the name of Samir has ever ch- What's with that packet? The owner says he's never met a Samir, which means she's probably using a different alias. Now you're asking the right questions. The person who left this package with me is the textbook definition of sus- was it a tall... A tall blonde girl? No, 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 it was no pretty little blonde. It was this giant fella, about seven feet tall, and as wide as the... T but the guy was completely covered from head to toe, and his accent was definitely not from around here, no matter how you look at it. Then, are you sure that the package this... Absolutely! Look, it even has four... If this really is from Samir, you don't think she put a... No, Samir 
would never hurt the people here. I think... mentions two people, Peach and Flora. Do you and Samir know each other? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hide it from you. She and I, we grew up together. Peach and Flora. Pretty silly names, huh? Granny Lucy came up with those names. She raised us as orphans. And this is the place where we grew up. This is our home. Peach is older than me by two years. She's always been pretty mischievous, and she used to pick on me all the time. Looking back, she really wasn't much of a big... But back then, she was the person I looked up to most. I would follow her everywhere she went, causing trouble and getting scolded for it. She would always talk about becoming an explorer when she grew up, so I wanted to be one too. We would run all over the place looking for new and exciting adventures. Were so ch and if it wasn't for what happened later, maybe that childish dream of ours could have come true. What happened? Peach came down with a strange illness, one that even the best doctors and banjos couldn't cure. Afterwards, Mr. Colador helped us ask High Close for aid, and they took her away one day. I haven't seen her once since then. You mean you two haven't seen each other at all since then? When she first left, she would sometimes send me letters. I thought that she would get better soon, that she would come back to us. But after a while, I've wanted to find her all this time. I even joined Hykros as an executor on my own account. But maybe she... <sighs> Never mind. Why don't we put our search on hold for a bit and go... Does Lucy live by herself? Yes. I can't come back often because of my missions. She lives on her own right now. <laughs> At least she's healthy and everyone checks on her. So I feel a lot better about this arrangement. She's getting old and a little senile. If she says something strange, please don't mind her. <laughs> Grandma, I'm back. Oh, mm -hmm. well, if it isn't... My no, Grandma, it's me, Flora. Flora? Oh, you two are as naughty as ever, playing tricks on your old granny. I wouldn't know. I've raised the two of you ever since you were no taller than my knees. Your granny might be a little slower in her old age, but she could never miss. Do you know how long it's been since you left, Peach? You got poor little Flora worried sick, saying things like she <sighs> Grandma, your mind is getting even hazier. Oh, <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Say, who's that next to you? A friend? Oh, thank goodness. I was always afraid you wouldn't... Grandma? Hello, Grandma. I'm helping Huma look for Samir. Ah! So you're looking for Flora, eh? Darn memory of mine. Almost forgot. She came by to visit a few days... She came by to visit a few days... There's an address on this as well. You, too, must have more important... I'm sorry, Grandma. I... I mean, your little Peach will be back to see you soon. Oh, don't you worry about that. Young people are always... Come with me. Huma, you... you look like you still have more to say. The address Peach left for us, I've seen it before in a high cross document. It's a hidden research facility, and it seems like they're working on a new project. What kind of project? It appears to be an extended application of the simulacrum technique. 
I only saw it in passing, so I don't know much. Besides, I didn't have high enough security clearance to read more about it.
You're finally here. The entrance to the research facility is just up ahead, but something doesn't seem... What's wrong? I saw a few guards quietly escorting some researchers out of the facility just now. It looks like they're following emergency evacuation procedures. Think it has something to do with Samir? Let's go in and get to the bot. Are you ready? If so... security system has been breached and its self-destruct sequence is set to go off in an hour that's come take a look at the message on the screen left and pay close attention to your surroundings especially any complaints
protect you! You're clumsy! I don't want to wait for you! the demon, but the princess is never waking up. What a cruel ending. Look at you. Just as pathetic as I once was. You. Who are you? Good question. Who do you think I am? Peach or Flora? Samir, were you playing me for a fool the whole time? Of course I was. The real Huma is slumbering in one of the jars over there. How does it feel? Lost? Scared? Or, you realize that you've been had, 
and you only feel ang- What is it that you want? What do you think I want? You don't understand how I feel. I looked for her for years. I saw her face, and I thought I had an answer. But that wasn't even her. They wear my friend's face as if it was rightfully theirs to start with. Huma, is T-04? This is what you're looking for. The original data of T-04. The person that I grew up with lives inside this tiny chip. I don't want to see her because it disgusts me, knowing that it's someone else inside. Listen to me, Samir! I will not hand her over to Hykros again. Tell Dr. Joaquin that I will gladly shoulder the consequences. Samir! Samir! I'm fully aware of the situation. It seems Samir has played us all for fools. It was another prank all- A prank? But Samir and Huma, they- Don't worry, they're fine. Our emergency response team has arrived at Research Facility X7, and they report that the facility is perfectly intact. It appears Samir suspended the self-destruct sequence at the last minute and left with the T-04 data before the emergency response team arrived. Project X-7, also known as the Mimicry Program, is an undisclosed project of Hykros that is currently under development. The purpose of this project is to quantify and standardize the simulacrum data of a target subject and safely apply it to other. Simply put, it is intended to simulate the physical appearance. However, the application of this technology had to first overcome a very dangerous and imposing up. For this reason, we recruited our first batch of 11 participants as our initial test. Subject T-04? Her name was Huma, I believe. Yes, I remember now. She was incredibly resilient and optimistic. If she hadn't come down with such a rare and terrible illness, she would never have suffered at our hands. 
She and the other ten subjects participated in the initial phase of experimentation. In the end, only two of them successfully survived the separation of consciousness from body. Subjects T04's situation was very complex. We extracted the data on her physical form using the mimicry pro The two sets of data violently rejected one another, and so we were forced to store her physical and... Prior to Samir causing all of this chaos, research facility X7 was attempting to construct a virtual persona based on subject T04's most recent physical data and import her conscious data into it. If they succeeded, it would mean that subject T04 could find... Given her relationship with subject T04, I can fully understand the child's motives, but after... if they decide to pursue Samir, her best course of action will be to surrender herself and T04's data. <sighs> I didn't want things to end up like this either. Let's bring things to a close for now. Thank you for all.
Where did I stop reading?
reading. Thank <laughs> you. 